And good evening and welcome to Clarion Limestone High School tonight. Round number two of the District 9 Girls Volleyball Playoffs right here on the EYT Media Network. Explore Clarion D9Sports.com. As the number eight seed Port Allegheny Lady Gators come in to take on the Clarion Limestone number one seeded Lady Lions. Brian Trout and his Clarion Limestone Lady Lions get set to take on Matt Byrne, Port Allegheny. Mike Kalinowski here. We got Brett uh, English. Uh, we're going to get him mic'd up here momentarily. And uh, Nico Cosmo over there on the uh, camera tonight here from Clarion Limestone. And should be a good one here this evening. Port Allegheny comes in after winning their uh, first round match. Uh, they were able to knock off Austin. And uh, when you look at that match, uh, a couple interesting things stand out uh, for Port Allegheny. Uh, Kalia Dowell in that uh, match had 16 digs, 11 kills, two aces, and had her 500th uh, career dig in that victory for the Lady Gators. So uh, this is a team that uh, certainly can make some things happen, and it's always kind of dangerous when you have a number eight seed coming into the second round. Anything can happen with a team that gets hot here in volleyball. But Clarion Limestone has been getting the job done. They won the Keystone Shortway Conference uh, Championship and then rolled right in. Uh, they got a bye in the first week, and now we'll get uh, ready here against Port Allegheny uh, tonight. I uh, should not in the first week, but in that first match on Tuesday night. So we're ready to go here. And now we're going to turn it down to Brad Frazier. That is smoking Brad Frazier here at Clarion Limestone High School for the pregame introductions here at Clarion Limestone. We'll have the anthem and all that for you coming up. And your home team on the scoreboard is Clarion Limestone. Your paid or complimentary admission to this event entitles you to enjoy an exhibition of skills developed by these student athletes. Please give them your positive encouragement. Booing, taunting, and intimidating officials and or the opponents is unfriendly and unacceptable. In the crowd, signs and noisemakers are not allowed. Please stay off the court at all times. Your officials for this evening's contest are Ms. Joyce Wright, Mr. Scott Don, Mr. Roger Walter, and Mr. Aiden Carter. At this time, would you please rise for the singing of our national anthem by Miss Bonnie Woolward. Gentlemen, we ask that you kindly remove your hats. starting lineups. First for the visiting Port Allegheny Gators. The Gators are coached by head coach Matt Burr. We have a sophomore, number two, Lily Lehmeyer. Sophomore, number three, Isla Lehmeyer. Junior, number seven, Ella Moses. Sophomore, number eight, Jenna Renner. And senior, number nine, Kalia Dow. Sophomore, number 19, Bryn Evans. Senior, number 23, Amber Funk. And sophomore, number 12, Madison Eric. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce the home team, the Clarion Limestone Lady Lions. 
The lead lanes are coached by Ryan Trout, Becca Doherty, and assisted by Allie Morton. And so we have a freshman, number 26, Hannah Beggs. Sophomore, number one, Kaylee Smith. Junior, number 27, Maddie Greeley. Junior, number 28, Jenna Dunn. Senior, number 30, Alyssa Wyant. Senior, number 35, Ansley Burke. And senior, number 10, Abby Knapp Green. All right, there we go, the team introductions, and we're just about ready to start here at Clarion Limestone High School. Again, Mike Kalinowski along with uh, Brett English, and we have Nico Cosmo over there on the camera as well. And uh, looking at the starting lineups again uh, for Matt Burr and his Lady Gators, it's uh, Lemur, Lemur, Dal Moses, Renner, Evans, and Funk, and Eric in there too for the Lady Lions of Clarion Limestone. It's Smith, Nev Greeley, Beggs, Dunn, Burke, and uh, Greeley uh, for Clarion Limestone, and that's where we're just about ready to get started here. So what do you think over there, Mr. English? Oh, I think it'll be a great game. Um, it'll be cool to see an eight seed from up north that most people down this way won't haven't seen much during the season because they play north or northern teams mostly. So. Yep. So it'll be a different game for <coughs> CL. Well, here we go. And again, I forgot why in two there for Clarion Limestone. Don't know what was wrong there. Someone's going to be yelling, you missed her. We'll get some scores to you from the Clarion match going on right now, too. Clarion is taking on Oswego Valley. And uh, we'll have updates on that. Mike Kilroy is over there taking care of business in that match. And we are here at Clarion Limestone High School in Strattonville, Pennsylvania. Just about ready to go. Of course, coming up Friday night, the big, big football game down at Red Bank Valley. We'll be there for you as uh, Central Clarion goes on to take Red Bank Valley. Down in the land that Bob Dunkel built along the uh, banks of the Red Bank Creek with that fall foliage coloring the background and the beautiful trees. Heard that. Since Bob left, Nico's trying to take over that role of. <laughs> oh, that it's his town? Yeah. yeah. He might be. You never know. We don't have him uh, headphoned up, so he can't look at us and yell, so you never know. Serving will be Clarion Limestone here, and it'll be Wyant to serve. Lemur, Lemur, now Moses, Renner, Evans, Funk, and Eric. We'll see from Port Allegheny. The ball's dug out, and that point's going to go to Clarion Limestone. The ace that time by Wyant on the serve. They get things started right off the bat to these Lady Lions. Billy Lemur up front there, having a little trouble handling that, and here's Wyant. Served by Wyant, dug out. Well set up, Lemur's going to put that over the net. Good dig, saved there by Smith, back to the middle. Dunn puts it over, and Dunn will get the kill in the middle. Or excuse me, that was not Dunn, that was Greeley in the middle. We're going to make sure we get the right uh, lady with the right point. There you go. Wyant continues to serve. Good serve by Wyant. Dug out again by Lemur. Ball hit over the net, and it's going to go long. 3 nothing. Clarion Limestone as they get started here early. Lady Lions on a roll here, now 3-0. Wyant serve. Up from the back by Lemur. Then tipped over the net. That was by um, Dowell. Big swing, and how about the kill by Dowell in the middle? For Port Allegheny, the Lady Gators right back here at 3-1. Dow will be serving. Talia Dow. Dug by Dunn. Smith setting to the middle. He was off of Greeley. Greeley with the kill. Went off of one of the Port Allegheny uh, blockers up front. 
thought that might have been uh, Isla Lemur over there. Excuse me, that's Lemire. Oh, swung and it's going to be hit long. Isla, that's Lily Lemire. <coughs> so see y'all right back with the serve. Here is uh, Kaylee Smith. And service there makes it 5-2. Keep it up over there, Brent? Oh, I'm trying to. I don't know. Points are coming fast and furious. Yep. Serving will be uh, Isla Lemire. Dug out by Beggs, and now going to be pooched over there by Burke, and Burke's going to get the kill from the left side. Nice job by Burke. Just into the volleyball match and gets the kill, 6-2. Serving his bags here for the uh, Lady Lions. Ball dug out and saved there by Dow. Put over the net that time by Moses up front. Going to be set. Big swing and Burke another kill. Finds the left side. And it's 7-2, Clarion Limestone. Beggs continuing to serve here for the Lady Lions. Good serve by Beggs just off the top of the net. And boy, you can't ask for anything better than that. And it is. Now 8-2. to two. Reminds me of Brett when he was in junior high playing volleyball. Just right off the top of the net. Yeah, I learned from the best, Tyler Oaks. That's right. There's the serve, and it's going to go off of the back line there. That was Dow over there. 9-2 ace for Beggs. Beggs serving. Good dig from the back line. And that hit's going to go long. And Lily Lemire on that left side. Here's Beggs. That's it. Oh, how about that ace by Beggs? That ball just died. That's like uh, Nico back in high school with his uh, baseball pitch. He had that one that would just die, and then you'd yeah. swing and miss. Yep. CL's been able to find the open court here, hitting the right spots. Sure are. Here we go. Good serve. The gal by Dow. Going to be set up on the attack this time as Evans, and Evans is going to get the kill on the right side for Port Allegheny. 11-3. So Port starting to put together a few points. Lily Lemire serving. <coughs> Excuse me. Really had it blocked. Save done on the attack, and done. We'll get the kill. So done with the kill. And 12-3 here, Clarion Limestone. Really with the served. And the ace on the right side. Sneaks it on the right. And he's, are they going to call it out? They're going to call it out. That's why I thought that was very close to being in. So 12-4. Serving here is Moses. Smith setting it up. Big hit by Burke is going to go long. 12-5. Port Allegheny stringing together a couple of points here. And the ball dug out by Beggs. Done on the attack. Ramirez tips it over the net. Snap Greeley. Puts it up here to Dunn, and Dunn is going to get the kill. 13-5. Knapp uh, Greeley serving, Abby Knapp Greeley. Look out by Funk. Front Lemire with the big swing, and she'll get the kill. Does Lemire. 
That was uh, Tisla Lemire. From the back now, it will be uh, Bryn Evans serving for the Lady Gators. 13-6, Clarion Limestone. Served by Evans. Dug out, but it's into the net. Ace for Evans. 13-7. Evans serving. And it's into the net service here. Makes it 14-7. That one looked like it went off the side of her hand there. It didn't look right. Yeah, it kind of looked like it did. You can always tell on that serve. Here's Dunn. Look out. And how about that? That is Jenna Renner with the kill from the left side. 14-8. Port Allegheny stays within six. Here's Wyant, and it is just out. 14-9. Serving is Jenna Renner back there for Port Allegheny, getting that first point. Served by Renner. Not really with the dig. Battle at the net. Here's uh, Beggs, and it's just off the back line. It's out 14-10. That had to have been close. Oh, they're going to call it tipped. Call the one, it tipped. Yep, the one official on the other side called the tip, and it's 15-9. That's big. Served by Beggs. Dug out by Funk. And on the attack that time, and a kill on the left side. That's uh, Lily uh, Lemire. Kill for her, five-point uh, set here. Serve, dug by Dunn. Set to the middle, tip over. Kept alive. Smith's going to set it back over to Beggs, and Beggs is going to hit that ball too long. It's 15-11. Serve again, Smith to the middle, tipped over by Greeley at another point. 15-12, here comes Port Allegheny. Nice job back there by uh, Jenna Renner. All set, swing by Greeley, she'll keep it alive after the block. Now Greeley puts it up, here's Beggs on the attack. Beggs is gonna get the kill. There at the beginning, it looked like CL was going to run away with this one, but Port Allegheny has really brought it back and got it together. Sure have. And serving that time, too, want to make sure that was Dow serving. And the ball going to be hit over the net by Eric. Greeley, and Greeley's not going to get it over on that uh, third hit. It's 16-13. Uh, uh, Isla Lemire serving. Served, dug out by Dunn. Or it was actually Beggs with the dig, and Dunn's going to get the attack, and the Port's going to keep it alive. Good job, Funk, getting it back over the net. Smith into the middle. Hit by Dunn, and Dunn with the kill. 17 13. Beggs will be serving here for the Lady Lions. Served by. Beggs, dug out by Funk. Ball set up on the attack uh, by Lemire. Smith is going to set that up to Dunn, and Dunn is going to hit it long. 17, 14. We've said that many times on those hits by CL, just missing that back line. Yeah, no more than a foot, I don't think. Serve is in for the ace. How about Lily Lemire with that ace? Bringing it within two now. 17-15, here we go. Lemire serving. Done with the dig. Smith is going to set it up. Burke on the attack, and Burke has it dug up by Lemire. Ball set up to the front. Ball tipped into the net that time by Renner. 
Greeley serving. Good serve by Greeley. And boy, I'll tell you what, it was a rocket. It was falling. Dow did everything she could to dig that out. But Greeley's going to get the ace. It's 19 15. That ball just was like a rocket and died. That one's going to go long. 19 16. And coming up to serve will be Ella Moses. Served by Moses, dug out by Dunn. Smith sets it up to the middle. Wyant in the middle with a big kill, 20 to 16. Wyant was able to find the back row was pretty much clear. Everyone was standing about up towards the front and in the middle, so. Ball up front, hit into the net. Lady Lion point, 21-16. Not Greeley. All set to go. Five point advantage here for Clary Limestone. But got by Moses. Big swing. And how about Dow getting the kill from the left side that time here for Port Allegheny. Burke's going to check back in for the Lady Lions. 21 17. Back to serve will be Bryn Evans. Smith sets that up, and that time it is tipped. It's a point for Clemmer and Limestone. That's Wyant on the left side with the kill, 22-17. Jenna Dunn set to serve. Lady Lions within three here getting the first set. They lead by five. Moses up front. Big swing that time, and how about that swing on the left side? Jenna Renner getting another kill. 22-18, the back to within four. Renner serving. Serve dug out by Dunn. Smith, Wyant. Moses comes up front. The ball tipped over the net that time by uh, Lemire. Beggs on the attack, and Beggs with the kill down the left side. I don't think she got all of that ball that she wanted, but it was just enough. 23-18. And Beggs will be serving. Hard to believe, too, Beggs just a freshman. I was just about to ask to say about that. That was that's something. Wolf with the dig. Comes back up front, hit over the net by Lemire. Smith. And hit over that net by Greeley. Lemire battling at the net. We're going to get two hits here called against Clary and Limestone. 23-19. Not a flashy set, but both teams with their runs. Burke, Smith, Beggs. Lemire to the middle, Moses. And they're going to call the carry here against Clarion Limestone. 23-20, back to three. The dig. Smith setting it up here to Beggs. And Beggs with the kill. They needed that one for Beggs, and they get it. It's 24-20, set point now for Clarion Limestone. I will say for Beggs being a freshman, she's a workhorse on this team. She sure is. She was one of our players of the match earlier in the season. Smith with the serve. And ball's going to come back up as uh, Dow sends it up to Moses, and Moses hits it out. 25-20. Clarion Limestone wins the first, and we will take about a two-minute timeout. We'll be back with more for you here from Clarion Limestone. Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball Playoffs are all right here on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. Brookville Equipment's always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. Medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity, it's something that you can enjoy doing. 
and you can apply right through our website. Want to cut your cooling costs this summer? With a highly efficient air conditioning system, you can save up to 50% in energy costs while enjoying more consistent temperatures throughout your home. Call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and AC at 814-226-8695 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this summer. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. I chose MPRC because it was great to have a local affordable option here in northwestern Pennsylvania. I live in this community and I wanted to stay in this community. Learn more at discovernprc.org. All right, back here at Clarion Limestone High School, Stratville, Pennsylvania. One nothing. Larry Limestone leads. This is round number two of the Gatesman's Auto Body District Nine Volleyball Playoffs here on the EYT Media Network. Great night here, boy. I'll tell you what, the fans really starting to pack it in here at Clary and Limestone. They have followed this team well all year long. Brett, of course, a big uh, closet fan for these Lady Lions. Boy, tonight he came with the big CL painted on his chest. He's going to run across the court <laughs> between the second and third, so you want to be here for that. Uh, I don't know <laughs> about that one. <laughs> Officials are making sure everybody's in the right order, and we're just about ready to go. It will be uh, Isla Lemire serving here for Port Allegheny, the Lady Gators. And a sub coming in will be Eric for Evans. Lady Lions led throughout that first set, but I'll tell you what, Port Allegheny fought back several times. They did a really, really good uh, first set. Here we go, set number two. The winner of this one will move on to take on either the Lady Bobcats of Clarion or Oswego Valley coming up on Tuesday night. We'll be there for that one. If it's uh, Clarion Limestone, the match will be right here. So we're just going to leave everything here. Oh, no, we need it Friday, don't we? Yeah, we'll need it Friday down uh, at Red Bank. Oh, Big we got to pack it up again. Big game. That's huge. The only thing bigger than that was Bob Dunkel's salary when he retired from EYT. That's the only thing bigger in that game. Here's the serve. And it's in there for the point for Port Allegheny. Serving is a Dowell, Kalia Dow. Served by Dow. They got by Burke up to Smith. Smith's going to set it over to Beggs. Beggs with the big swing. Good dig from the back line by Dow. Comes up front. Ball hit over that at that time by Lemire. Beggs again on the attack. And Beggs is going to get the kill for the Lady Lions. Beggs has been good on that left side. Yeah, she knows where that back corner is, and she's been hitting her spot about the same spot every time. Here's Smith serving. Kaylee Smith ready to go here for the Lady Lions. 1-1, one, one, we're tied. And that serve's going to go out of bounds. Service there, 2-1, Port Allegheny. Isla Lemire serving. Dug by Nap Greeley, Smith on the back side. What a swing that time by Beggs, but it's going to go out of bounds on that. She tried from the right side this time, but just a little too wide. 3-1 here in Port Allegheny. Here with the 
serve. Smith. Burt tips it over. Wolf, or excuse me, that is Moses, sets it up. He puts it over the net. Fight at the net. Good job off of the net and pooched over. Good job that time by Burke and Greeley up front. Good dig by Knapp Greeley. Here's Beggs on the attack. Beggs sends it over. That's off of Lemire. And uh, Funk. And the ball's back over the net. Here's Clarion Limestone on the attack again. And how about Greeley in the middle with the kill? And it's 3 to 2. Great rally there <laughs> by both teams. Yeah, that was a good uh, service back and forth. Served by Beggs. Lemire. Block goes out of bounds. Lily Lemire with the kill there for Port Allegheny, 4 to 2. Mere serving. We have a rotation error on Clever Limestone. Five to two. That point's gonna go to Port Allegheny. Those are points you don't want to give up. Lemire with the serve. Good serve. Dug out by Nap Greeley. Smith keeps it alive, and Burke's gonna put it over. On the attack is Evans. Done. Here's a big swing this time, and how about that kill by Jenna Renner. Jenna's been tough on the left side here for Port Allegheny. 6-2, four-point lead now for Port Allegheny. Here with the serve, and it is in, just in the back line. 7-2. Wyant's going to check in and uh, also checking in here for Clarion Limestone will be Wolf. Lemire serving. 7 2 Port. Smith. Burke. And Burke nails the back line. It's 7 3. Lady Lions get a point back. Mail checks in. They usually bring Mail in to serve, and that's what she's going to do. Wolf will check out here for Wyant. Lots of moves here by Coach uh, Traup. Here's Mail. Mail with the serve. And that's a service there. 8-3. Five-point advantage now. And back to serve is uh, Ella Moses for the Lady Gators. Very limestone, quite flat here at the beginning of this one. Port Allegheny with that nice lead. Now Greeley with the dig. Smith to the middle. And Wyant is going to hit it long. 9 3, six point lead. Thought maybe we'd see a timeout. No, it's. They're letting it go. <clears throat> Moses now Greeley with the dig. Smith to the middle. Wyant puts it over. Moses with the uh, dig. Comes up here, big swing, and it's going to go long that time. And Renner was on the attack. She's been good on that left side. 9-4. Now Greeley serve. And there's an ace. Renner, that was a hard one to handle. Was kind of angling away from her. Knapp Greeley here ready with the serve. Dug out by Funk. Ball's going to be sent over the net that time by Dowell. Good job. Smith is going to set it up here for Dunn. Dunn on the attack. Good dig. Comes right back up front. Ball hit over again by Dowell. Up front here, Smith in the middle. Ball tipped over that time. Ball going to be set back up. Here with the attack and the point. Nice job again. Jenna Renner, we talked about it from the left side, and we're going to have a timeout. 10-5 is where we stand. We'll hold it right here. Want to remind you, too, coming up on Friday night, CYT Media, we're going to be down at the great Red Bank Valley as Central Clarion and Red Bank Valley get set to take uh, the their undefeated records as they go at it down there. And 
Red Bank Valley High School football field. We'll be on the air at 6.30 with the pregame show. Dave Cadis will be joining me, and the uh, whole thing gets underway at 7 o'clock with uh, the kickoff. I believe there's senior night down there on yep. Friday night, too, for Red Bank. All kinds of stuff going to be going on, and we always like to bring you all those different festivities. Folks love seeing it. I know the different homecomings and the bands and uh, the senior nights. If we're there, we bring it. 10-5 here. Therian Limestone leads one set to none, but Port Allegheny has uh, put together a nice run. And another rotation error on Clarion Limestone. That's a free point, and it's 11-5 port. Hey, we have a Zockrell Motors update, and I think folks are going to be kind of a surprise here. Oswego Valley beats Clarion in the first set, 26-24. Oswego Valley beat Clarion in set number one there by two. That's, that's kind of wild. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on that. Here it's 1-0 Clarion Limestone. Wyant on the attack. Dug out, nice job, and uh, ball set over the net by Lemire. Smith back over to Dunn, and Dunn hits it out, 12-5. Right, I'll tell you what, right now, Clary and Limestone, they're either having the service error, they're hitting the ball long, it seems like. They're not finding the same spot, and Port Allegheny's making them pay. Yeah, that uh, game off might not be a good thing right now for CL. Evans, Wyan hits it over. Back up front, Lemire to the middle. Big swing and kill in the middle. That is Dow. She had a career game in the last one as they put him into this uh, second round. 13-5, Port Allegheny. Here's Evans. And the ball tipped in the middle again by Dow. They're gonna call the carry. Thirteen six. Wow, that was close. I'll tell you what. A Kalea Dow made a great play up front. It, it, that's one of those calls. It's just yes, no. Can go either way. Here's Dunn with the serve. Off the top of the net. Good job that time by Alamir to play it. Big swing. Blocked. Kept alive by Dow. Comes back over. Ball hit and it goes long that time. Renner playing well and Dow up front. But that hit goes long. It's 13-7. Done again. Just off the top of the net. Lemire puts it over. Burke. You're going to play it off the net and then hit over. And it is out. But good job to keep that alive. But the point's going to go to Port Allegheny. It's 14-7. A few different times the ball hit the net there on that uh, rally there. Jump serve. Ball hit over. Lemire. Big swing. Dug out by uh, Beggs. Comes back to Beggs. Beggs is going to hit it long. It's 15-7. Serving is Jenna Renner. 15-7 here, Port Allegheny. Good serve. Dug out by Knapp Greeley. Ball sent over by Dunn. Ball to the middle, tipped over, and the point again for Dowell. To lay it down has been really good in this set. 16-7, Renner serving. Ball dug out by Dunn. Smith sets it up to Wyant. Wyant is going to get the kill on the right side. That's what the Lady Lions needed, but boy, they're down here by 8, 16-8. Yeah, it seems like Port has found their groove in this one. Sure have. Wyant serving. A couple dribbles of that uh, volleyball. Here's Wyant. Dug out by uh, Eric up front. Big swing by Lemire. Smith puts it over. Lemire sets it up to the middle. Dowell's going to hit it long. 16-9. <clears throat> Wyatt serving.
Lemire. Block, and the point, though, goes to Port Allegheny. Lily Lemire with the kill for the left side. 17-9, Lady Gators. Boy, they're pulling away here in this second. Big swing. Beggs, and Beggs will get the kill. 17-10. Smith is serving. Here we go. 17-10. Port Allegheny leads. Ball dug out by Eric. Big swing. Tipped at the net there. Set up by Smith in the middle. Put over by Greeley, and Greeley will get the kill. It's 17-11. This is a CL team that will not quit. They trailed Clary in 19-11 at one point in one of the sets earlier in the season and came back to win it. They trail here by six. Smith, Funk, Lemire to the middle. Moses puts it over. Moses gets the kill. 18-11. You saw a big comeback on Tuesday night. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, with Red Bank Valley. And, uh, boy, that, that match down there, that, that was really something. As Otto Aldred trailed 2-0 and came back and won the next three. Yeah. Not really with the dig. Set over by Dunn. Ball to the middle, Moses with the big swing. Moses is going to get the kill. 19-11, time up by Clary and Limestone. We'll hold here too, and just a <clears throat> quick update again. It was Oswego Valley beating Clarion in the first set over at Clarion High School. 26-24, so Oswego lead. It's 1-0 there. It's Seahawk 1-0 here, but they trail by 8 here in the second. So they are seemingly, if things don't change, we might be tied up here going into set number three. <laughs> Sending Mike Kilroy some stuff. He ditched us tonight. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Well, here we go. Back to serve. That is uh, Isla Lemire. Lemire ready to serve here. They lead by eight to support Allegheny here in the second. Good serve right over the net. Now Greeley sends it up to Smith. Smith, and it's going to be hit over by Greeley. Kept alive. Dunn puts it back in the middle. Smith puts it over the net on the third hit. Ball in front. Lemire's going to set it to the middle to Moses. Moses. Dunn with the intercept. Right back over there for Beggs. And Beggs is going to get the kill down the left side. It's 19-12. It's that back corner again. Where she likes to find it there when she, uh, from that left side. Beggs will be serving. 19-12 the score here. Seven-point lead for Port Allegheny. CL leads 1-0. Good serve. Dug out by Moses. He goes over the net that time. Dunn's going to set it up. Smith over to Burke. And uh, Dowell. And good job by Funk to get it over the net. And put over by Burke. Good work there by CL. Moses is going to set it up. Here's the big swing. Dig that time by Beggs. Smith back to Beggs. Beggs puts it over the net. And Beggs will get the kill. 19-14. Or 19-13. Nope, it's 14. Right? Well, maybe not. I think it's 13. Okay. He must have been a little quick on putting the score up there. Yeah, I get that way sometimes. Here's Lemire sending it to the middle. And the ball hit over that time by Dowell. And it goes out of bounds. 19-14 now. You're, you just saw the future. Uh, yeah. You were predicting that. I think so. Time traveler. And Beggs is going to hit it into the net with the service air. 20-14, to six-point lead here for Port Allegheny. Lily Lemire serving. 
Dunn Smith. Moses is going to set that up. Big swing. Dug out. That was Evans on the attack. Here's Dunn. As it blocked by Evans, and Evans will get the kill. 21 14. Lily Lemire serving. Now Grady with the dig. Smith. Burke will get the kill. Help Burke. It went off the top of that net and over. 21 15. Six point advantage. And in to serve here will uh, be Mail. Mail puts it over, dug out by Moses. Lemire's going to set it back up, and Evans is going to put it over the net. Beggs up to Smith. Smith, here's on the attack, uh, Dunn. Oh, good job by Funk, and then the ball back over. Good job by Moses for Port Allegheny. Smith brings it back into play. Wyatt puts it over the net. Lemire on the backside to Evans on the attack. Mail with the dig. Up front it goes to Dunn. Dunn hits it into the net, 22-15, Port Allegheny. It's a good way to track the ball down there for Port. Uh, absolute rocket sent over. Sure was, I'll tell you that. Ella Moses to serve. Moses to serve. Not really. And there's an ace. 23-15. Port now just a couple points away from making this a 1-1. Moses to serve. We ready? I don't know what we were waiting on. Well. Checking something over at the scores yeah, table. Yeah, just see that now. <laughs> An illegal substitution of some kind. Some. It's a warning here first. Really, going to come back in. So here we go. So 23-15, it is Port Allegheny with the lead here in the second set. Looking to tie things up at one apiece. Big swing. Really up to Smith. And Smith to the middle. And Wyant is going to get a kill. 23-16. Dunn is, comes over to check in. In for Ferguson. Nap Greeley to serve. Takes her time, and here we go. Moses with the dig, and the big swing. Kept alive on the attack is done. Nice job by Lemire, comes up front. The ball hit over that time by Dowell. Now really up to Smith, Smith to the middle. Big swing by Wyant, and Wyant will get the kill. 23-17. That one was looking like it was gonna go a little wide there. Yeah, if it wasn't touched. Yeah. Now Greeley. Good serve. Moses with the intercept. Set up, big swing. Kept alive. Tipped over the net. Lemire. Now Greeley with a big dig. Here's Dunn on the attack. There's Funk with the uh, dig. Comes back up front. The ball hit into the net that time, though, by Renner. 23-18, the Lady Lions back within five. See how going on the run here. This has been a nice little mini run for them. See if they can keep it going. Matt Greeley. Down up front, Lemire sets it over to Evans. Smith to Dunn. Moses from the back. Dumped in that time by Kalea Demidal. 24-18, and it's now set point here for Port Allegheny. Bryn Evans to serve. Here's Evans. 
just off the top of the net, kept alive, and the point goes to Port Allegheny. 25 to 18 as Port wins the second set. We'll take a two-minute timeout. We're back with more for you. Set number three on the way. We're tied at one apiece. It's Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball, and it's live right here on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tyanesta Builders. Tyanesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tyanesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tyanestabuilders.us. All right, back at Clary Limestone getting you set up for Friday night. Those marching bands will be all fired up as football coming your way on Friday. But right now it is Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball Playoffs on the EYT Media Network. 1-1, we're all tied up. We got a note from uh, Mike Kilroy, 18-8. Oswego was beating Clary in that second set. Uh, we'll be getting an update on that here coming up. But, boy, Oswego. Looking good there against the uh, Clarion area. <clears throat> so I don't know. This one here could go either way now. We're tied. It's like a brand new match. Yeah. Depends. Boy, I'll tell you. Port, all the credit in the world. Great set for them. They took advantage of the errors by Clarion Limestone. Clarion Limestone, if they want to get back, they've got to be a lot more crisp. And I'm sure that's what the coach of Trump was saying there. There were some sets over at the college at um, in the semifinal game that I was at. There was times though where CL just looked a little relaxed mm -hmm. and weren't on their toes. So. Yep, and that is true. Uh, they go through. They went through a few lulls, and I think you saw it there in that second. But the uh, coach Trump said too. You know, this is a, this is a team that can put it right back together. They never give up. Yeah, they went on that mini run there at the end of the second set there, so <coughs> never count CO out. So here's Wyant. Big serve dug out by Moses. Punk puts it up front. Dow's going to send it over, and out it goes. one nothing. Clarion Limestone. Maybe that'll be a little bit of the spark that gets them going here a little bit. Wyant to serve. Serve, dug out by Evans. And hit over. Nap Greeley with the intercept. Wyatt, Nap Greeley's got to put it over and does. Funk. And Lemire. Now on the attack. Ball back up front. Hit over by Greeley. Funk with the intercept. And over here, big swing. Nap Greeley. The return. And uh, Greeley's going to hit it over the net. Funk. Well hit by Lemire and finds the back corner. Lily Lemire is going to get that kill. 1-1. One, one. a long point. Yeah, 
went back and forth. Some great play from both teams. Dow serving. Smith to the middle. And how about Greeley getting the kill? 2-1, Clarion Limestone. I don't think Port had a chance on that one. Yeah, it was a big swing, too, that time. Checking here. 20 to 15 now in that second. Oswego leading by five. Clarion starting to close in a little bit. Evans with that dig, the ball tipped over the net, and that's the point for Port Allegheny. 2 2. Serving is uh, Isla Lemire. Begs with a dig. Smith puts it over for Burke. Big swing by Burke, but kept alive by Port. And Lemire puts it back in. Smith sets it to the middle. Greeley has it blocked in the middle. And Moses was there for the block. It's They're going to say nope into the net that time was a Port Allegheny. My fault. 3-2 Clarion Limestone. I'm already calling a point. <laughs> Would you? I mean, it was close. <laughs> There's Beggs. you got to yell at me. It's hard to see from up here. It is. There's uh, Beggs with the ace. 4-2. <clears throat> I figure with my age, you're young. You should be able to see. I can call all kinds of stuff and blame eyesight and all this stuff. <laughs> Here's Beggs. Good dig by Moses. Here's going to set it up. Dug by Beggs again. Smith to Dunn. Dunn with tip over the net up front to Moses. Evans on the attack. Dug by Smith. Up Greeley, and Dunn's going to put it over. Block. Dunn kept it alive. Good job by Dunn. Beggs up front. Put over that time by Smith. Good volley between these two. Ball set up. Evans is going to push it over the net. Here's Smith in the middle. And on the backside, Burke, and it's blocked, and it's – they're going to say, nope, it's going to hit uh, that – out of bounds, a stick there, and it is four to three. Boy, Burke had, had to hit that at an odd angle. Yeah, it was a little bit of an offset there. Lily Lemire. And the carry is going to be called on Smith. He tried to sneak that one in. We see a lot of times the setters doing that these days, and official all over that one, 4-4. Four, four. That was one of the moves uh, old Tyler Oaks taught me. Yeah, but... If he never carries because the official knows not to call it on him. Big swing by Greeley, and it is out. 5-4, Port Allegheny. Yeah, I heard he goes rounds with the refs afterwards. He sure does, too, and they know not to cross him. Lemire digs it out here, Smith. And Burke. And Burke on the attack will get the kill from the right side. We're tied at five. We're in Strattonville tonight here at Clarion Limestone and one set apiece right now, and we're tied at five here in the third. Had some good matches so down at Red Bank, as you mentioned, on Tuesday. The come-from-behind win. As Red Bank dropped that, they were up 2-0. Served by Greeley. Funk. Moses. Puts it over to... That's Renner with the kill. So Renner on that left side this time, and it's 6-5 here, Port Allegheny. Moses serving here for Port Allegheny. <clears throat> Match has been back and forth. Dug out by Dunn. Smith is going to set it back up to Dunn. Tipped at the net. Back over. Wyatt put it over, and now set up here for Evans. Evans on the attack off of Smith. Nab Greeley puts it up front. Dunn's going to put it over on that third hit. Back up front. Lemire sets it and over by Dowell. Smith in the middle. Big swing, and it goes off the of Funk and out of bounds, and Wyatt's going to have the kill in the middle. We're tied at six. Now Greeley to serve here for the Lady Lions. Funk with the dig. Up front to Lemire. Big swing by Dowell. In the, or that wasn't Dowell in the middle. That was Renner. She snuck into the middle that time. But, boy, what a big hit for her in that kill, 7-6. She wasn't going to be denied that time. No. 
Bryn Evans serving. Dug out by Beggs. Off the net. And the ace. 8-6. Yeah, if that would have been Nico down there, he would have been flexing and showing his muscles he after sure that one. He would have ripped the shirt off yeah. and been like, oh! Service error there. Service error. Sacral Motors update. Oswego Valley up 2-0 now on Clarion. They win the second by a score of 25-17. Wow. Here's Dunn. Off the top of the net. Oh, good play that time that by Renner. Kept it alive. Renner's going to come right back. Dug by Dunn. Here's Beggs. Lyon has to put it over and does. Lemire into the middle. Big swing. And how about that kill by Dow? She kind of went like this. Didn't hit it the way I wanted to, but sometimes you don't have to. Nope. It's the end result that counts. That's right. So Bob Dunkel always said. The end result counts. Doesn't matter how you get there. And it could be ugly, too. Service error was going to give Clary Limestone the serve back. Begs. Where's that Wyatt? Wyatt serving. And that's a service error back the other way. So 10 8. Dow serving here. Ball tip back over by Moses. Moses gets the kill in the middle. Nice job, Moses. Really great heads up play. And it's 11 8 here, Port Allegheny. Dug out by Dunn. Smith over to Beggs. Beggs with the big hit. Nice job that time by Lemire and then put over by Evans. Into the middle. Tipped over by Greeley. Lemire. Big swing. Now Greeley with the dig. Smith setting it up to Beggs. Beggs over the net. Fight at the middle and uh, they're going to call Port Allegheny into the net. Larry and Limestone will get the point. 11-9. I like when they call that too. Everybody kind of looks at each other. I don't know who did it. They knew who was in the net. <laughs> I would never admit it. Here's Funk up front. Lemire to the middle. Moses fight there at the net. Good job there. Fight again. And it's going to be Moses winning that battle. It's 12-9. <clears throat> First go around, CL won it, and then Moses second down. Yep. Got the best. Give her credit too. She didn't give up, did Moses in the middle. Isla Lemire with the serve. Beggs with the dig. Smith and put over by Dunn. Lemire, big swing by Moses, but did not make it over the net that time, and it's 12 10. Two point uh, set here. Again, over in uh, Clarion, Oswego Valley leads Clarion 2 0. <clears throat> Beggs. Lemire up front. Big swing, it is tipped, and that kill is going to go to Lily Lemire. Nice job here for Port Allegheny, it's 13-10. Lily Lemire serving. And that goes long, boy, barely. That's something that Nat Greeley is really, really good at. She has it, she can tell just by her body where that ball's at, and she's almost always right Yeah, on that back line. Greeley serving. Funk's going to keep it alive. Put over the net by Dow. Greeley up front. Smith to the middle. Wyant on the attack. Tip back over. The point's going to go. I think on the right side, I think that was Evans going to get the kill that time. Time out taken here by Clarion Limestone. So just checking here on any... Other updates. <clears throat> I want to let you know, too, on this timeout, ExploreClarion.com will be hosting a political forum featuring all five Clarion County Commissioner candidates on Monday. The broadcast will be live from the Haskell House starting at 7 o'clock. So that is on ExploreClarion.com. Of course, uh, the elections are coming up here in a few weeks. 
So that political forum coming up on Monday, broadcast from the Haskell House at 7, and all five commissioner candidates will be there. I think Gavin Fish has the call on that one. All right, that's good. You going to be running camera or anything? Um, I don't think I'm signed up for that one. <laughs> I think next Wednesday we'll, I'm down at AC Valley High School for the oh the big meeting the big meeting between Union, AC Valley, and Keystone. Boy, you might that might be a big ruckus. Yeah, Nico uh, and I are down <coughs> there, so Nico Nico will defend me if uh, he will. It gets heated. <laughs> Here's Moses on the serve, tipped over, kept alive by Smith. Nap Greeley. Dunn will put it over there on the third hit. Moses back up front. Amir and then tipped over. And how about uh, Dow getting the kill in the middle? 15-11, Port Allegheny. So Port, since losing that first set, they have been really good. Here's Beggs up front. Smith setting it up to Dunn. Dunn is going to send it long. It's 16-11. Here's the serve. Dug up by Knapp Greeley. Smith to Dunn. Funk up front. Lemire and hit over the net that time. Here's Smith for Clarion Limestone. Lyon has it dug out by Funk. Comes up front. Dowell's going to put it over the net. Smith setting it up for Dunn. Dunn on the attack. Good dig that time by Renner. Put back over. Here's Clarion Limestone. Smith. Dunn. Good dig by Funk. Lemire, and Renner puts it over. Dunn has it blocked. Dunn keeps it alive. Good job by Dunn. Nap Greeley. Burke. Moses up front. Lemire to the middle. Tipped over by Dowell. And Dowell oh. gets the kill. Oh, my goodness. Such a long, long volley. And Dowell with that easy hit gets the kill. Both teams are playing amazing in that rally there. Just a little miscommunication and... Um, Maybe some tiredness shown Good. there at the end, fatigue. Could very well be in that uh, swing and a kill by Wyant in the middle. Gives Clary Limestone the serve here, but they're down by five. Yeah. They just got to chip away. That's what a comeback needs to be. You can't do it all at once. It's got to be a little bit, uh, a little bit at a time. <coughs> so here's Nap Greeley to try to get a little bit back here. Nice dig by Moses. Lemire in the middle. And that attack goes into the net by Renner, 17-13. Lead is back to four. Now Greeley, Moses with the dig, Lemire, fight there. And it goes to Clarion Limestone. 17-14, <clears throat> three-point lead. This is big. Nap Greeley, dug out by Moses. Lemire. Evans puts it over. Into the middle. Wyant. And Wyant nails that kill. Finds the left side. It's 17 15. And a timeout will be taken. Matt Burr will take that timeout, too. And why don't we take a quick break as well. We'll be back with more for your time. One apiece, two-point uh, lead for Port here in the third. Gatesman's Auto Body, District 9 Volleyball at ExploreClarion.com. Back at Clary Limestone here in Stratville, 17 15. We're tied at one. Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 volleyball playoffs here on EYT. 
Clarion in their match. Mike Kilroy keeping us updated. They are down 2-0. Oswego Valley leads 2-0 against Clarion. Here's the serve by Nap Greeley. Moses with the dig. Lemire is going to set that over to Evans, and Evans will put it over there on that third hit. There's Beggs up front to Smith. Now done on the attack. Oh, good job by Moses, and Funk to get it back over. Excellent job by Port that time. Here's Nap Greeley. Now done. In the middle, set up Lemire. Big swing, and another kill on the left side for Jenna Renner. 18-15. Said her name a lot tonight. Back to serve is uh, Bryn Evans. Done up front, set to the middle. Big swing by Wyatt, and it's out. 19-15, Port Allegheny now pulling away by four. Timeout was worth it. Sure was. Evans, dug by Beggs, Smith, and hit over by, uh, that was Wyant in the middle. Lemire puts it up, tipped. Little battle there between uh, Dowell and uh, Wyatt. Now here's Dunn on the other side on the attack. Dig by Funk. Moses up front, tipped over, blocked, kept alive. Dowell back to Renner, and it goes out. <clears throat> so CL gets the point here, 19-16. Dunn serving, that's Jenna Dunn. Three-point lead for Port. I got by Moses. Rear to Renner. Now Greeley with the dig. Wyant. And Wyant gets that kill. Found that right side. Boy, Evans made a nice play at the ball, but unable to get there. In his 1917. The Lady Lions back within two. Here's Dunn. And ball back into the middle. Good job that time by Renner to keep that alive out of the crowd. Here's Smith setting it up to Beggs. Beggs hits it into the net, and it's 20-17. to 17. Port Allegheny by three. Jenna Renner serving. Renner is a sophomore. Beggs digs it up to Smith, and then a big swing. By Wyant. How about Wyant with the kill? 20 to 18. The Lady Lions back within two. Third set taking some time here. And the serve goes out by Wyant. Service error, 21 18. I will say that was close. Right there at the end, it just dropped. Looked like one of Nico's pitches again. That's right. From high school. Sure was. He was tough. Here's Smith in the middle. And a nice dig that time by Funk on that uh, attack that time by Greeley. Greeley, though, is going to come back to get the kill. 21-19. Clary Limestone stays within two. They need to get on a run here. And Smith is going to try to do it. Kaylee Smith gets ready here for the serve. Big by Evans, up front, Moses. Dunn's there, Smith, Beggs, and it's in. Back line is going to get it. 21-20, Lady Lions within one. They brought her back. Port has led since they took that early lead. I think it was like 6-5 or 5-4, something like that. Here's Smith. Eric with the dig. Moses on the attack, and Moses will get the kill. They're going to call CL into the net. 22-20, Port Allegheny. Talk Motors update from Mike Kilroy. 11-10, Oswego Valley leading Clarion in the third. Served by Lemire. Smith. Over to uh, Greeley, or that is, uh, was that to Burke on that side? It was Burke, and it goes long, 23-20. Timeout will be taken here. Let's take a quick look. 
So in this one, we're tied at one apiece, 23-20 the score here in the third. Clarion Limestone, 25-20 in the first. It was a port uh, by a score of 25-18 to 18 in the second. Now we turn our attention over to Clarion area. They lost to Oswego Valley 26-24 in the four, uh, first. The second set was Oswego 25-17, and right now Oswego Valley leads 11-10 in the third. So scores coming in fast and furious tonight. Just got an update. 15-10, Oswego Valley is up over Clarion. Yeah, they're starting to pull away again. Keeping Mike updated. He's keeping us updated. It's nice. Boy, we're able to cover all these different matches. If the Lady Lions can come out with a win, they would have a home match coming up on Tuesday night. And then, of course, the championship next Thursday. So here we go. They got to get the job done here, though. And right now they trail by three. Lemire with the serve. Smith to the middle, sent over that time by Greeley. And into the net, Port Allegheny. That gives CL the point, 23-21. For Clary Limestone, cannot make many mistakes here. They need four points. Port needs two. Got to play smart and play it safe. Here's Banks. Dug by Dowell. Front, and the ball blocked there at the net. They're going to give Burke the block. 23-22. Big block there by Burke. Huge. Big serving. Big serves here. Dug out by Moses. Tipped over the net. Dug by Beggs. And they're going to call an illegal hit on Port Allegheny. 23-23. We are tied. Here's Beggs. Hear the crowd go nuts if she gets this point. Dumps it in, Moses, great dig by Moses. Ball sent across, Funk's gonna put it over the net. Here's Nav Greeley up front to Smith. Smith on the backside, Burke, and dug out. The attack, blocked, and back over. What a hit that time by Greeley. In the middle, Moses puts it over. Dug out by Dunn. Smith back over to Dunn. Here's Dunn on the attack, and Dunn gets the kill. 24-23, Clarion Limestone. This place just went wild. Said it would. What a great uh, volley, though. Port, what a great job by them, too. Here we go. Set point. Dug by Moses. And there it is. Greeley gets it. 25 23. Clary and Limestone, they come back to win the third. They lead 2 to 1. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back in a couple for set number four. And you're watching Gatesman Auto Body District 9 Volleyball Playoffs right here on Explore Clary to D9Sports.com. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zocro Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZocroMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zocro Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion.
name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. All right, here we go. Set number four, 2 1. Clary Limestone leading board Allegheny. Mike Kalinowski, Brett English, Nico Cosma over there on the camera. Wow. That was that was a set. That was crazy. Actually, Brett was like was biting his nails. He was all nervous. Yeah, I was holding on to the table up here. <laughs> we have a great view up here, too, up in CL. Yeah, it's nice. So we're going to keep everything going here. We'll keep you updated on that Clarion match as Oswego was pulling away in that third. We'll see if that holds. Serving here will be uh, Kalea McDowell or Dowell. Nope, hold on. Is it Dowell? Yeah. I always want to say McDowell because I'm from over in that District 10 area growing up. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't bother you, does it? What? That I come from another district many years ago though many many years ago <laughs> <laughs> i don't know brad always gives me that little side eye here's dow ready with the serve here we go set number four lady lions can put it away with the win court can tie it here with the win dunn puts it over dow with the dig comes up front lemire big swing and that's going to be a kill nice job on the left side by lily lemire with the kill here for port allegheny one ought or score. You like ought or zero? It's catchy. It's catchy, isn't uh, yeah, it? Yeah, I heard uh, Kilroy correct himself on Tuesday. <laughs> he said one nothing, and then quickly said ought. Yep, he knows. Here we go. Two nothing here, or two ought the score as Dow gets the first couple points here for Port Allegheny. Here's the serve dug out by Nap Greeley up to Smith. Smith setting it. And Wyand with hits it over the net that time. Evans up front. And Moses pushes it over. Fight here at the net. There's Moses and Wyant. And Wyand, Moses is going to win that battle. The kill for Moses quickly here. It's 3 0. Port Allegheny. Looked like it could have been a possible double hit there. I saw the. It was close. Saw the Port Allegheny coach wanting, wanting that to be called. In the middle, Dunn puts it over. Dug out by Eric Moses with the tip. And Moses with another kill in the middle. 4 nothing. Quick Zocro Motors update. Oswego Valley up 20-16 to 16 on Clarion in the third set. Mike Kilroy keeping us updated there. We'll keep you updated as well. Big swing by Wine. It's tipped. And set up here and hit over the net that time. And another kill for Lily Lemire. 5 Nothing, Port. <clears throat> exactly how Port wanted to start out, not how the Lady Lions did. Here's Smith to Beggs. And it's out. It's long, 6 nothing. Port Allegheny. CL girls just have to take a deep breath here and bring it back in, get it all together. Matt Greeley with the dig, Smith, Wyant. Goes off of Funk. Dow keeps it alive and put over the net that time by Lemire. Smith sets it up here to uh, Beggs. And Beggs will get a kill. And the Lady Lions get their first point, 6 1. Wyatt's back to serve. So they need to make up five here to the Lady Lions. Wyatt serve. Here. That's up to Lilly. Smith to Beggs. Dumped in. Moses with the dig. Pushed back over. Dunn. Smith now to the middle. Greeley. Funk there with the uh, dig. Funk's going to have to send it over and does. Smith. Wyant. Here's Beggs. That was Eric from the back line. Moses in the middle. And Moses has it blocked by Greeley. And Greeley gets the kill in the middle of 6 2.
Huge block there and a very strong hit by Moses, I think that was. Yes, it was. Here's Wyatt. Down the line and finds the line, 6-3. One thing about volleyball, you just got to hit that line. With any part of that volleyball, doesn't matter. It's just like baseball. 6-3. Wyatt, good serve, dug out by Dowell. Moses, and Lemire puts it over. Into the middle, and then Greeley catching fire in the middle with another kill, 6-4. She got a lot of muscle behind that one. Got some, a big update now. Uh-oh. I'll let you read it off. You can. Oh, okay. Um, so we got an Oswego Valley sweep of Clarion. Yeah, we'll have to get the score on that one. That's a shocker. And how about Beggs on the left side? Finding it at 6-5. Lady Lions back within one. Here's the dig, Lemire. And that's out. 6-6, six, six, we're tied. Lily Lemire has been strong on the left side for Port Allegheny, but unable to get that just off the back line, and then we're tied at six. Wyant. All to the middle. Funk puts it up. Moses has to get it over and does. And that is out. Now Greeley again. I'll tell I you what, say, I don't know how she does it. I knew you were going to mention yeah. something about it, but it, it was perfect. 7-6. Lady Lions, Wyan on a roll, just off the top of the net, good dig by Funk. Lemire, intercepted there by Wyan, up front, Smith puts it over. Funk, Lemire, to Lily Lemire. Goes off and nab Greeley, and it hit that ceiling and kind of got everybody messed up, and it's 7-7, we're tied as Port gets the point back. Have to get a score. And that third set from uh, Kilroy here at some point over there at Clarion. Serving as uh, Isla Lemire. Done up to Smith to the middle. And it is out. Greeley in the middle. That's a mistake, but not she's not had many here. It's 8 7. Isla Lemire serving. Greeley, Smith, and that's going to be controlled and fight at the net. Lemire fighting it off with Greeley, and the point's going to go to Clarion Limestone. The illegal hit called on Port, 8-8, eight, eight, we're tied. So who will go on to Tuesday? We're going to find out. <clears throat> Clarion Limestone leads at 2-1, and we're tied at 8 here in the fourth. Funk. And hit over the net by two players over there, Lemire and uh, uh, Moses. But uh, Burke's going to hit it into the net that time, and it's 9-8 here, Port Allegheny. So will Oswego Valley get the winner of this game? Yes. Okay. Yep. That's, it sounds like it'd be a tough task, too. Fight there, and Greeley's going to win that fight. She'll get the kill. Moses looks like she might have stubbed a finger or something. That happens. She's going to be okay there. She's pulling on that one finger. 9-9, nine, nine, we're tied. Did that a lot in basketball. You'd always yeah. stove your finger. Begs with the serve. Dug out. Lemire to the middle. Moses with the big swing. Oh, good dig that time by Evans. Big swing. Kept alive. Smith comes right back to Dunn. Dunn on the attack. And Dunn's going to get the kill. 10-9, clearing in limestone. Back and forth we go. So we could be back here on Tuesday. We will see. Lady Lions here, 10-9, they lead 2-1. Beggs off the top of the net and gets it to go. 11-9. That's one of the hardest things, and it's just really almost an accident because, you know, if you could do that every time, it would be fantastic. Yeah. I know Tyler Oaks, before his uh, recent accident, was pretty close to perfecting that. He sure was. He tried, and how about Banks again with another ace. Terry and Limestone getting a little bit of steam here, 12-9. We'll see how long 
coach Matt Burr will let this go before he calls a timeout. We'll see what happens here. It's a three-point lead for Clarion Limestone. Good dig. All going to be set up. Ball blocked. Moses keeps it alive. Lemire puts it over the nets. Smith to the middle. Now on the back side. And the ball is going to be hit long that time by Burke. 12-10. Port back here and now serving is uh, Ella Moses. Moses with the service error, 13-10. Long trip down here on a Thursday night for Port Allegheny. Sure is, too. Well, tomorrow's Friday, though. Yeah. Really serve. Dug by Funk. Here in uh, Dow's going to hit it long. Haven't heard from Dow for a little while here, and it's 14-10. Be like you in high school on Fridays. You just, eh, I'm staying home. Well. Yeah, it was because Dustin Kiefer as a teacher. I would have stayed home, too. Yeah. Here's Greeley. <laughs> Dug out by Funk. Let me hear. Over to Evans. Evans on the attack, and Evans is going to get the kill on the right side. Good job by Evans, and she'll have the serve. Yeah, it didn't matter what Thursday night looked like. Dustin Kiefer hammered in those math problems for us. I bet he did, too. Fridays were never an easy day over at Keystone High School. Here's Evans. Up front to Smith. Wyant would not be denied. Big hit in the middle, and it's 15-11, Lady Lions. His Eric checks back in here for Port. Just want to let folks know. <clears throat> Nap Greeley serving. Funk with a dig, Lemire. And hit over the net that time. By running, yeah, the ball and the kill by Dunn. That was almost <laughs> the Dunn goes. That was really easy. <laughs> I don't think uh, Port expected that. When they expected her, I think to kill it. <coughs> yeah. 16-11. That's the game, though. Here's Nap Greeley. I got by Moses. Here up front and hit into the net that time by Renner. Speaking of, oh, got a timeout. Yeah, they're going to take a timeout. Matt Burr will do that here, 17-11. Clearing and Limestone here leads by six. We'll break as well. See you all up 2-1 and up by six here in the fourth. And you're watching Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball and Explore Clearing and D9Sports.com. He's on the 30. He's on the 20. He's on the 10. It's a touchdown. There's nothing like football. The lights, the cheers of the crowd and getting a chance to see our local athletes and kids give it all they've got. Come to a game. Support our local schools. Clarion County Community Bank. A better way to bank. Member FDIC. Visit us online at clarionbank.com. Here we go back to action at Clary Limestone. 17-11, the Lady Lions lead Port Allegheny. They lead 2-1 in sets. It has been a hard-fought match, though. Port Allegheny has played extremely well. Lady Lions have had their lulls, and now they lead here by six. Now Greeley with the serve. Dug out and tipped over the net. Done with the dig. Wyant. And that is uh, the attack on the left side by Renner, set up in the middle. Wine hits it over. Nice job by Moses to keep that alive in the middle, but then uh, Dow is going to hit it up into the net. Dow had to make an over the shoulder, almost like a Willie Mays type play, and it's 18 11 Lady Lions. Moses up front. Lemire. Hit over by Funk. Nap Greeley. Dunn on the attack. And Dunn with the kill. That's the kill for Dunn, 1911. You can tell once it went, it was heading toward that back wall. It's really hard to play. So Lady Lions by eight as they pull away here. Try to put themselves in the semifinal. Coming up on Tuesday, 
Good dig that time by Funk, but it's up into the net. Funk did a fantastic job for Port to get her hands underneath that, but into the net, 20 to 11. Have Greeley dug out. Front, big swing. Wyant, Funk, Renner. And Renner's going to get the kill on the left side. Nice job, Jenna Renner. 20 to 12. So CL by eight. Back to serve. I believe that is uh, Renner back there. Ball set to the middle. Wyant. And the big swing in the middle. And the point. Good job by Dowell in the middle to get the kill. It's 20 to 13. One thing I noticed is whenever uh, Nap Greeley is serving, CL's done exceptionally well and went on these runs mm -hmm. and extended their lead or brought it back in close. Over to Dunn, fight at the net, but that's going to go. We're going to give the point to CL. They're going to say it must have been in. 21 13. It was on that far side, right in front of the official. So Dunn getting the kill there, and she'll be serving. Lady Lions up 2 1, looking to close this one out. Lemire. Renner hits it into the net that time. 22 13. Here's Dunn. Dug out by Moses. That hit into the net again. That's Lily Lemire on that side, trying valiantly to get that ball over the net, 23-13. You see Clarion Limestone a little more spring here in their step. They need two. Sub coming in is Mayo. Serve. Lemire to the middle. Big swing. Blocked. Point's going to go to Clarion Limestone. Gonna point. Say, yeah, they're going to say it didn't make it over the net. There was no block. 24-13. Here we go. This is match. Point. Done. Moses. And it's over the net. Good job that time by Lemire to get it over. Beggs with the swing. And Beggs gets the win for Clarion Limestone. 25-13, the Lady Lions knock off Port Allegheny. What a great match. They'll be back here on Tuesday as they'll be taking on Oswego Valley in the semifinal to see who goes on for the championship on Thursday. Again, set number one, 25-20. Larry and Limestone, Port won the second, 25-18. Then the Lions, 25-23, 25-23. 13. That'll wrap things up for us here from Clary and Limestone. We'll see you back here on Tuesday. Friday night, though, it's the big one down in the Great Red Bank Valley. You're ready for this one, Brett. You're going to oh, be yeah. on the field for I'll that. on the sideline, getting the sideline shots. going to be exciting. We'll be down at Red Bank Valley Central. Clary and Red Bank Valley Friday night right here on EYT. That'll do it for us tonight. Clary and Limestone, 3-1. They knock off Port Allegheny. And this has been Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball right here on Explore Clarion D9Sports.com. Have a great night. We'll see you again this Friday night.